Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So, I have a demo model of my half inch ram pump. Not for sale yet, but it will be soon. Um, do some more testing before I put it up on the site. So, um, I figured I would set this up and show you how it works, but also I want to run some tests to see how many gallons per minute it uses and um, what the output is at the same time. So, Let's take a look at it. Like I said, this is my demo model that I show um, wherever people need to see it, whether it be farmer's market or uh, whatever. But So it all fits inside of this five gallon bucket. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's all put together. So those are all the parts to it. So let's put this together. So first we have to have a water source. I'm just gonna use this five gallon bucket and uh, just gonna kinda tie the handle off here so it doesn't tip off of my stool. Hope this works. Now, my previous tests have been run from a three foot drop, but here we've got eh, two and a half feet. So our results will be a little different with this test. Now this little piece right here is just my stand to um, keep the pump upright whenever I'm on a, um, a flat surface somewhere. So that's kind of not really important at the moment. So to make our, um, our feet of lift, what I've got here is just a little PVC structure. Uh, nothing too fancy. That's the base. And then each of these sections here come together to make a tower. It's pretty simple. It's just a, uh, a coupling with about a 15 inch piece of PVC and they just fit into each other like that. Now here at the top I've got a T and I use uh, just a closed clip to keep this from coming out. And then I just kind of wrap the pipe here. This is the delivery end. Then I stick these together Here is my demo base. Goes up here and up here in the air has the output. Let's find out how tall this is. <laughs> kind of awkward with one person. It's uh, right at 10 and a half feet tall. For the drive pipe, I have uh, installed this PVC union that allows me to easily connect the drive pipe to the bucket. Hope this bucket stays on here with water in it. We'll find out. So now, I'm going to stretch out this drive pipe and attach it to our pump. Now I can use this little stand that I made to uh, put the pump into and keep it upright there. The last part of the setup is to connect the delivery pipe here. Okay, I'll close this valve off. Let's check out the entire setup. First we have our source, which is a five gallon bucket with uh, rubber washer there and that comes down the drive pipe over to the pump which goes out to the delivery pipe wraps around here and up to the top our delivery pipe is 20 foot long but I want to see approximately how long the drive pipe is 
it's going to be right at 10 feet. So even for a half inch ram pump, a 10 foot drive pipe is going to be a little bit short. Um, so the action of the pump will be too quick. So it's going to lose efficiency. You'd really want something like 20, 25 feet long um, to make this work more efficiently. Now let's fill our bucket and do some tests. Our bucket is almost full and I want to get this thing primed before we start doing our real test. So the first thing I'd like to do is open the valve. Okay, let all the air out of the hose. Alright, that should do it. Now, the tank right now is full of air and it has to have some compression on it, or pressure, sorry. And so we'll have to prime the system. Okay, so you can kind of see the, the jump here. Now we're going to slowly open this side. You can see the water flowing through. Now you notice when we did that, this stopped. So I closed the valve again, and now we got to start it once again. Um, what's happening is we release the pressure in the tank, and um, so it stopped the system. Now once we get enough back pressure up here, then the pump will work by itself. Let's see, so, so far we've made it to halfway up the pipe. The water is close to the top. I'll let you see it overflow here. And it's enough to keep the system working. So the main test that I would like to run is the gallons per minute test. So I've got my stopwatch, full five gallon bucket. I'm gonna start this and see how long it takes to drain that five gallons. So here we go. As the pressure in the bucket drops because there's less water, the um, pump begins to do this. But we're getting some decent results anyway. And the results are in for the half inch drive pipe and 3 8 inch delivery pipe small ram pump. I know the gallons per minute. Would you like to know them? Be sure to push the like button on this video. <laughs> Did you do it? Good. All right, so this thing ran for six minutes and had an, uh, the five gallon bucket for the input. So that gives us right at 0.8 gallons per minute. Now that's with a short drive pipe and the check valve facing straight up and down. So if we had a longer pipe and this angled some, we could get, um, I would say, even close to half a gallon per minute. Pretty impressive. So, um, like I said before, um, this model is not for sale yet at Landa House, but I do have a 3 fourths inch, a 1 inch, and a 1 and a quarter drive pipe model. So um, check those out. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I will see you next time. My original intent for this half inch ram pump was to take it to my local farmer's market and other shows um, so it needed to have the clear tubes so people could watch the water climbing up into the pipe. But then I realized that a lot of you have been emailing me about um, low flow creeks and what the best ram pump is to use 
in those situations. I figured, well, maybe I should just make these pumps this size and put them on the website. If you think that's a good idea, maybe hit the thumbs up button and let me know if I should be pursuing that. Well, if you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out this other video I have here to your left. You can find out the potential of a hydraulic ram pump. Pretty cool stuff. Well, thanks for watching this video. I'm Seth Johnson with Landa House, and I will see you next time.